And the Huntington Symphony Orchestra celebrating the work of Beethoven this month with a very special guest joining us. First and foremost, a couple people you know, Kimo Furumoto, Andy and Jesse from the Huntington Symphony. Thank you guys for being with us. But also, I have to introduce our special guest, internationally renowned pianist, virtuoso, Barbara Nisman. And I'm here to talk about something that um, you better be good at because it's got your name all over it. The show is called Barbara Meets Beethoven. And so, no pressure, but it does sound like it's gonna be going from the fun outdoor summer pop series. We're kind of returning to the indoor thought and more classics with this. Yes, but you know, Beethoven was quite a guy. I wish I could have met him, of course, but I've been spending a lot of time with him lately. Tell, tell me about the show. What's it gonna entail? Uh, well, I get to play uh, Beethoven's fourth piano concerto with the Huntington Symphony and, and this fine conductor. Mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to it. Why that piece? What, why did that speak to you? Actually, he wrote five concertos, and the fourth has always been my favorite. It's, mm. it's very special. It's got, it's got his humor. It's got his virtuosity, because people forget he was, he was really a great piano player. Mm -hmm. and, and then it's got this wonderful tenderness. This, the, it's, it like runs the gamut of emotion. And we, mm -hmm. we keep having fun with each other. Uh, we keep having a dialogue <laughs> back and forth. With you well, and, and I've seen some of your, but you've been on stages across the world. How did you end up being able to help these fine gentlemen? in Huntington. Well, you, you know I'm a West Virginian by choice. I live in Greenbrier County. No, I did not, though, so <laughs> yay! Yeah, yeah. Okay, I love this. And, Chemo, this has got to be fun for you, too. I know you have fun on stage for Picnic with the Pops, Always. but it's a different kind of fun for this. Yes, it is. It is, and it's an all-Beethoven concert, so not only the concerto, but the two other pieces that we're doing are Beethoven as well, so it's really a, a, a feature of Barbara and Beethoven. <laughs> Ian, it's a, a different show, but you know, once we go to the indoor season, we do tend to get more into classical stuff, typically through the symphony. Tell us about how the show goes. Well, you're no stranger to our pop series. Mm -hmm. We did a disco performance. We did <laughs> fireworks on the river. Uh, we had a Broadway night, but the orchestra is a chamber orchestra. It was chartered in the 70s as a classical music institution. It was the guest artist at the Museum of Art, which is, we're so excited to return to where it all started mm -hmm. for our orchestra uh, back in 1970. Um, so yeah, we're just going back to our classics, quote unquote, and uh, featuring this lovely program, a great hall. Come check it out for yourself at the Museum of Art. Great program featuring our Steinway artist, West Virginia Hall of Fame inductee, piano legend, Barbara. So it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful night for music lovers in the, in the Tri-State. Something you've been working on anyway, because you have been taking the Huntington Symphony on the road quite a bit. You've been in several cities now to expose the Huntington Symphony to other towns. Oh, absolutely. We're, we're delighted to be a part of the cultural environment that makes this place awesome to live. Mm -hmm. So we play concerts in Huntington. We go down the street to Barbersville. We've been in Wayne County. We've, we really want to in service. Ashland. In, in Ashland. In Ashland. Yeah. We, we want to service the entire area. Mm -hmm. Well, Chemo, are you are you ready? This one doesn't require any kind of disco outfit. Are you ready to? <laughs> oh, but you know, Beethoven's all you need. I mean, there it is. It's music of the people by the, you know by this I, great. Yeah. Well, give us some man. of the nuts and bolts. How do I get tickets? Uh, when showtime, etc. Easy. So you can go to our website. That's the easiest way to get a ticket. It's. Um, HuntingtonSymphony.org. You can do that by yourself. If you want some help, come down and visit us at the box office, 763 3rd Avenue, downtown Huntington. Um, give us a call, 304-781-8343. This is a celebration of Barbara being with us in the community. Mm. So not only are we having the concert Saturday night, but we partner with Marshall University. So tonight, Barbara's performing an all-piano solo recital at uh, Smith Hall over at the School of Music at mm -hmm. 7.30, free to the public. Tomorrow, she's working with some students from Marshall as well, sharing her insights and knowledge and passion and getting <laughs> them stirred up. And then, um ending in a big crescendo with Beethoven on Saturday night at the museum. And I know you guys are always working that next step too. Got this show, got a next show. Yeah. What's next for the symphony? Well, it's uh, kind of spooky out there, right? So uh, mm -hmm. next Friday we have our haunted uh, Halloween concert. It's a string quartet and it's called Things That Go Bump in the Night. Ah, very so appropriate. Halloween inspired music, some classical elements, some themes you might recognize from some shows that you like, maybe like Stranger Things and things like that. Uh, okay, so, yeah. okay. Well, you've teased us there. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, appreciate you coming in. My pleasure. Good luck with the oh, show. Thank, thank you, Barbara. Thank you so much. Kimo, thank Ian, you. thank, thank you, you again for joining us here on Studio 3. They're longtime guests for us and always bringing us entertainment. We appreciate it. Thank you very thank much. You.